Uh, next topic is JSON. Um, Java script object notation. So here we are going to talk about what is JSON and why you want to use JSON. And we'll talk about JSON, JavaScript object. And uh, we are going to see how we can convert uh, JSON text representation to JavaScript object and vice versa. And uh, we are not going to talk about JSON in Java because this is in fact a JavaScript code camp. So we'll talk about the first three topics. What is and why JSON? So JSON is a text format representation of JavaScript object, okay? Uh, but with some restrictions. So more, more precisely, it is a text format representation of JavaScript object literal with some restrictions. And we're going to talk about that restriction in the following slide. One thing nice about JSON is that it is readily usable in your JavaScript code, okay? Because uh, you can easily convert JSON based JSON based text format representation to JavaScript object, okay? And vice versa. And JSON is considered as a lighter text based data exchange format compared to XML. So XML the popularity of XML is uh, the uh, diminishing these days, especially as uh, data transfer, data interchange format on the web because it's too verbose. Instead, uh, people are choosing JSON as the choice of data interchange format on the web. Uh, JSON has a pretty simple format, so it's easy for humans to read and write, and it's easy for machines to parse and generate as well. So JSON restrictions, as I said before, you can think of JSON is the text format representation of JavaScript object with some restriction. Okay, so every single JSON based JavaScript object is in fact a genuine JavaScript object, but not all JavaScript object becomes a JSON representation. Okay, so JSON restrictions. Uh, so the key must be double quoted string in JSON. In JavaScript, in general JavaScript, the key does not have to be double coded, right? In JSON, the key has to be double coded. Okay, single coded string is not allowed either. And the value can be one of these following: it could be string, it could be a number, it could be another JSON-based JavaScript object, or it could be an array. It could be true or false and null. However, it cannot be a function. So in general, JavaScript object, right, uh, the property, uh, the uh, meaning the key value pair in the JavaScript object, the, the value could be a function object, right? However, in JSON, the function object cannot be a value. Okay? So these are two restrictions in JSON. So this is an example. So in this example, this is a genuine uh, JavaScript object. It's a key value pair, okay? However, this is not valid JSON format, okay, if it is in text format, because the key is not, these two keys are not in double-coded string, and again, the value cannot be a function, okay? So this is not a valid JSON representation, okay? Okay, so why use JSON over XML? So as I said, it provides lighter and faster uh, on the wire text-based data format than XML. And JSON data is typed while XML data is typeless, meaning in XML, everything is a string. However, in JSON, the, the type could be string, number, array, boolean, and you know things like that. So the thing, you know, the value could be string, number, uh, array, true, false, or null. It could be another JSON representation. Okay? In XML, everything is string type. Okay? Which means if you want to capture the value in XML, you have to parse it, then you have to convert it into, you know, the uh, particular type you want. Okay? Uh, JSON is, in fact, a native form, native data form of JavaScript code. So 
JSON data. So by the way, when I say JSON, we are talking about text-based representation. Okay? So you can convert it easily to JavaScript object because data, uh, text representation in JSON can be easily converted to JSON object because you know, JavaScript object because you know they actually are uh, the format is actually compliant. I mean, kind of matching to each other. However, XML, you know, if you want to convert XML based data into a uh, JavaScript object, you have to parse it, then you have to, you know, the set the value of those properties of JavaScript object with parse the value, and you have to, in fact, perform type conversion and all that stuff. Okay. So JSON, JSON is, in fact, a lot more popular uh, the, uh, the, uh, um, uh, than XML, uh, you know, especially from the perspective of uh, JavaScript code. And retrieving value in from the uh, JSON is actually as easy as reading it from the object property in your JavaScript code once it's converted into JavaScript object. Okay. So where does JSON get used? So as I said, it is the D primary and the choice of data exchange format in communication protocol, especially on the web. Okay. And uh, you could actually use JSON as a configuration data. In some cases, people use XML for configuration, representing configuration. And uh, now more and more applications want to use JSON as a configuration format as well because of the reasons we talked about. XML is too verbose and it's hard to uh, parse. OK, another important usage of JSON these days is that it is, in fact, being used as a data format as well, especially uh, NoSQL document databases such as Couchbase and MongoDB. So instead of this type of database technologies are not using relational database table as the, uh, the choice of data format, it is actually using JSON underneath as a, as a, as a way of um, you know, maintaining its data. Okay, because of its flexibility. It doesn't have to be confined to a very strict uh, schema. So in uh, NoSQL-based document database, there is no concept of schema. You know, you can just collect the data in very flexible fashion in the JSON format. Okay, so uh, that's another very popular usage of JSON these days as a data storage format. Any questions up to this point? Okay, moving forward. So let's talk about the JSON notation. So as I said, JSON notation is a collection of name value pairs with some restrictions we talked about. The key has to be double coded a string and the function cannot be a value. Okay. All right, so other than that, it is in fact uh, compliant with the JavaScript uh, notation. Okay. So JSON notation can be used in JavaScript code with no extra work. Okay. So if you have received the JSON data from your server, okay, and then you can actually use it uh, almost right away. Well, basically, once you convert it into JSON object in your, basically, you can actually use it in your JavaScript code. Okay. So JSON notation uh, begins with curly brace, just like a JavaScript literal curly brace, and ends with a right brace. And each name is followed by colon, and the name value pairs are separated by comma. So in this case, we have a very simple JSON notation. We have we have a two key value pairs, okay, name and hobby, and uh, then value is a string, sanction, and golf, okay. Okay, so this is a JSON uh, representation, JSON notation uh, with an array. So in this case, we have a key binding, and then we have an array as a value, and the array has its own uh, three JSON notation here, right? So here, another uh, key value pair, so key, value, key, value, key, value, and key, value, key, value, key, value, key, value, key, value, and key, value, okay? So array of the another JSON notation, three JSON notations are in this array, okay? So in order to access uh, these, uh, these uh, properties uh, in this array, so basically uh, I have my JSON object and then I can actually use this bracket notation to reference uh, an item in this array. So zero means it's referencing this guy, 
okay the first line and then if I get the method property the value uh, is new URI so when you display this value it will display new URI okay okay moving forward so pretty straightforward uh, so let's do exercise one. So exercise uh, one is okay. So here a JSON object. Okay. So we have a JavaScript code right here. Okay. And uh, you can see this is the uh, JSON notation. Okay, so once this is processed, okay, uh, this JSON notation uh, becomes a JavaScript object. Okay, and you can actually make a reference. So in this case, uh, binding zero, so it will actually access uh, this guy, and uh, then method. So it will return new uh, URI. Okay, in this case, uh, the second uh, binding and uh, uh, ILC event so it will display private message something like that so when you uh, the uh, yeah so that's what you're going to see here okay and uh, JSON conversion so oh so we're gonna do just one that one so let me actually continue the presentation and uh, then we are going to uh, let you do both uh, one that one and one that two Okay, so JavaScript object to and from JSON text conversion. Okay, so to convert JSON text into JavaScript object, you could actually use eval. Okay, so basically you can call eval and it has to be within the parenthesis. Okay, so you have to have a parenthesis and then uh, the uh, this is a string, JSON string, and plus and another parenthesis. Okay. So suppose I have a JSON text, okay? So this is a JSON text. We have a double quote here. This is a text. If you want to convert into a JSON object, uh, basically you can use eval, okay? But as I said, usage of eval is strongly discouraged, right? So instead of using eval, uh, you want to use uh, parse, okay? So as I said, eval can compile and execute any JavaScript code, so there could be security issues. Okay, so uh, a malicious uh, JavaScript code could be executed and that is that could actually cause a problem. So use of eval is strongly discouraged and use eval only when the source can be trusted. Okay? Uh, and so in, in general, you do not want to use eval. Okay? So when security is a concern, the source cannot be trusted. It is better to use a JSON parser. Okay. So basically, the JSON parser is that you have a JSON parser object, then you call parse, and then you provide the text, and you get the uh, JSON object, I mean JavaScript object. Okay. okay. If you want to convert, uh, you know, the uh, the uh, JavaScript object, which is actually uh, the uh, JavaScript object into JSON, then you can actually use a stringfy a method. Okay. Okay, so that's exercise two, and that I think will be uh, the end of this presentation because we're going to skip the uh, Java uh, side of JSON. Okay, so in this case, uh, we have, uh, let's see, the code is, uh, we have, yeah, so this is pretty much what I used in the slide. So this is the uh, uh, JSON text representation, okay? So this is a text representation, okay? So suppose if you have received this text representation from your server, now if you want to convert into Java object, Java script object, okay, and you can use eval, okay, or uh, the uh, the uh, you could use uh, the parse, okay, it's JSON parse, okay. Uh, so uh, and if you want to convert in text conversion, so you can use the string file, okay. So uh, you know this is the uh, uh, string version of it and uh, then we can uh, use a JSON parser uh, the uh, to uh, create uh, JSON object like this okay and then you can actually make a reference to you know the properties okay and you can actually inspect the JSON uh, if you inspect the JSON uh, you probably see uh, some of those method okay so let's actually try that so uh, is the uh, conversion right and uh, 
Hyvä nyt. And I'll press F12. Okay, just press it one more time. Okay, so these are all working fine. And JSON uh, looks like uh, we have a parse method and we have a string file method and things like that. Okay. All right. So I'll give you uh, 10 minutes to try exercise one, one and two, and one dot two.